Hello my fellow eggheads, this is Liz. So we're gonna go over what to do if your Windows 10 computer is either A, freezing, or B, randomly turning off or restarting, uh, or a combination of both of these. So, so we're gonna troubleshoot, and I'm gonna take you through a series of things to check for. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your mouse, you're gonna to navigate to your manila envelope or file explorer, and you're gonna open this up, and under this PC, we're gonna go into those Windows uh, logs, they're called. We're gonna right click on this PC, and we're gonna to go to manage, because every time your computer crashes or has an issue, Windows records that, and it records as much information it can about that so that you can reference it and perhaps potentially figure out what's going on with your computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open this up, this event viewer, and I'm gonna to go to Windows Logs, and the two places I would say um, are the best places to look would be under application or system. I'm going to start out in application, but if I didn't find anything under application, I would then check out also system. But we're just going to check one for the sake of this video. So application. And so what I'm looking for when I open this up is, as you can see, it records a lot of general information, uh, which we don't need as much. I'm going to make this a little bigger. But as you can see, what I would do is Let's say your computer crashed at uh, on March 4th at 9.55 a.m. or sorry, 9.56 a.m. Then you would go down to that time and you would see what caused that crash. And as you can see, I have an error here. So what you would be looking for are errors or warnings. And now as you can see, my computer's running fine. Errors aren't always the end of the earth, but if you do have an error and it's at that time when your computer crashes, then you know it, it is in fact a problem. So I'm going to click on this and see what kind of information I'm given. So now that I've pulled this up, okay, so information like this I can now Google for the solution to my problem. For example, I as a technician would Google um, this right here, error 1706 or event ID 11706, or this power engage, and I would Google and see what I, sort of information I can find on it. Um, and there's also this event log online help. I find this less useful than checking out on um, specifically, you know, online. Also, you could take some of these errors, screenshot this, and put it in a forum and say, "Hey guys, what's wrong with my computer?" Uh, you know, it's not perfect, but it's a way to get answers to the questions you have and it is definitely a viable option. Okay, so the next thing you would do if you say for some reason don't have any errors or you hit a dead end. The next thing to check up on would be we're going to go to command prompt. Alright, so we're going to do this search for command Oops, prompt right here. It came right up. I'm going to right click on it. Run as administrator. I had to hit yes, and then I'm in. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in SFC space slash scan now to scan my hard drive. And so it's going to go through scan my hard drive for any sort of problems. Now if your hard drive turns out to have some sort of issue and needs to be replaced, we have a video down below in the description on how to replace a hard drive and reinstall Windows, which is also not as hard as you would think to do, but that's only if you end up having a issue that can't be fixed in here. And overheating is another big reason for crashing and restarting. So what I would do is I would go to Amazon and I would look for a, um, a cooling pad for your laptop. We have some recommendations down below on some ones that are easy to use and will keep your computer cool. If you think that could potentially uh, be a problem. A good way to tell if your computer is overheating is honestly just feel the bottom of your laptop, feel the top, does it feel hotter than usual? Then that could be a good indicator, especially if you're the kind of person that tends to keep it on top of a blanket or a pillow or even on your lap uh, can cause an overheating issue. Okay, so as you can see, it finished. Uh, and one really good thing is if there was some corrupt files that were found and they were successfully repaired. So good news for me, this in itself could have fixed a potential issue. 
Uh, but if you find that doesn't remedy the problem, the next thing to check is to see if your memory is running correct, um, is working correctly. The next thing we'd want to do is select your Windows key and R at the same time, and we're going to open up this little uh, neat little thing here, and we're going to type. Well, I already typed in mdsketch.exe, mdschedexe to run Windows Memory Diagnostic. And so I'm going to hit OK. And then check your computer for memory problems. Unfortunately, you do have to restart your computer for this to work. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it's going to check my computer for any sort of issue. So once the computer restarts, it will bring me to a screen like this and it will check my memory. Uh, you're going to want to it'll take a while. It will eventually give you a result. If you find your memory does not pass, well, then we have a video in the description down below that shows you how to test for which uh, RAM stick could have potentially gone bad. Uh, and that's in the description down below. And if it passed, well, then you might want to look into possibly resetting Windows to see if that would be a good thing to try next. But anyway, you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you found this video in any way helpful, please like and share. And from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.